Hey, so I just came back from a trip to New York City, and I haven't really talked to anyone about the products that I got, so I figured I might as well just uh, upload a haul. Alright, so let me start with my uh, products. Um, first, I went to Lush. Um, not because everyone else is going to Lush, but because there actually isn't a Lush where I live, so I was like, there is one in New York City, we better go. And it's pretty much fresh homemade cosmetics if you don't already know but um they smell so good and if you're a person that doesn't like smell may I suggest not going because you can die no I'm kidding but I mean it, it's cool to check out try out smell out everything it's really original there and again I'll repeat it's homemade cosmetics so pretty much I went and I got uh soap it smells good and it's called Lemon Lem Slip. And it's so good. I wanted something that would wake me up in the morning, give me a little bit of orange, I mean, of citrus first. So I figured this would be the best product because they had another citrus product and it was just way too strong. And what's also really cool about this bag that it came in is that it, um, it's recyclable. Um, there, what I read before was that it was biodegradable and it was kind of like you could just bury it and it would just go away but again it's lush and this is the soap smells good oh, i'm sorry and if you guys didn't see um i got about a quarter pound of the soap and it's like for a full pound it's like 30 bucks so i got a quarter pound a little bit more than a quarter pound and what i'm doing is that i'm actually cutting it off with a letter opener and i'm just using it one by one because it's supposed to last me all summer honey because I might not go back to the city until then. And then also when I went to Lush, I went the first time I went to Lush, I went there twice. The first time I went, uh, I have really choppy lips, and uh, what's going on as a solution for it is actually the lip scrub. And I'm gonna say that it really freaking works. Um, it's a lip scrub, and I got it in bubble gum. They have three scents, and the other two scents, I was like freak no I'm not getting this and then the bubble gum I'm just like this is so immature beyond belief but I really needed this lip scrub and it freaking works and so if Lush if you're hearing me I would suggest you come up with more flavors because this shit actually works like you just take you take a little it's pretty much like flavored sugar and you take a little and you scrub your like lip and it like actually kills off the dead skin and if you do this on a regular basis you'll be fine oh my god did you see me i'm about to like lick my finger it's edible Ew. imagine if it wasn't that'd be deadly all right um also i had my graduation party in new york city so as a gift card uh a couple of my friends gave me uh gift cards to oops, just fell on. gave me a couple gift cards to mac so i went to mac and i got from the beach collection I got the refined golden uh, bronzing powder. The reason why I got it was because, I, you know, so it's summertime. You need a bronze. You need a bronzer. But the reason why I got it in powder is because my skin is really oily. So before I had like a cream foundation for Mac, and I just felt like my skin could not breathe. It was disgusting. So I figured maybe I should try the powder. And I was gonna try the lighter color because um, there's two in the collection. I was going to try the lighter color, and the girl kept insisting that I get the darker version. And I'm like, just because that's all you have, like, don't offer it to me. But it was just that I was pretty much in denial that I actually had gotten a really good tan from the, like, the couple times that I went to the breach. So I have gotten a lot darker, so I guess I needed these products. And then also I got the... What is this? I got the Weekend um, to the Beach Cream Bronzer. Now, the reason why I got the cream bronzer was because sometimes it feels like my skin is so dry where I would prefer the cream, so I like having the choices, and actually, what's cool about this, I, seriously, I was just like, chick, I'm not this color, what, what the, but I mean, it does come on, and of course, you can pack it, pack it on for more color. What's cool about this is that you rub it on, it's a cream, and then by the time you put it on your hand, right there. By the time you put it on your hand, it actually feels like a powder. So I was really into this. So I'm happy that I got these things. And then also, 
Oh, shoot, I don't have the original. But um, I was out of my Studio Tech, uh, Studio Tech Foundation, and it's in the crane. I haven't opened it yet because I'm going to save it for when I actually need it. And also, hold on, let me show you. This is my um, this is my dream foundation at the moment. That's all I'm using, so I'm just gonna stick with that until whatever. It's almost done. But I mean, this thing is almost done, so we're gonna see. All right, and then she gave it to me an NC40 uh, before I was an NC35. So this chick must think I'm black or something. No, okay. no, I I, mean, I guess I'm still in denial about how dark I am. All right. And let's see, is that all? okay? And then I went to Mitsua, which is a Japanese like um, mega market in New Jersey, and I got a couple of products. I got I got two facial creams, like facial washes. Um, one is from Easy Peel, and it's a fiber wash, and it really works from what I heard. I haven't opened it yet. And um, it just gets in there and really cleanses your pores. And this is the same thing. I actually did try this one when uh, the night before in New York City, and I really like it. And this is the problem. When I get products from the city, I get so worried because I don't know when I'm going back. So then I start, like, not even wanting to use the products because I want to conserve it. But this one really works. And I got it in, like, a peach scent, and it smells so good. <sighs> smell a vision smell it? Do you smell it? Yeah, and it really, I mean, these things work, so if I go back, I would suggest. This one's um, Easy Peel. It's a fiber wash, and this one is the Naive uh, by Crazy facial, uh, facial Cleansing Foam. And I like it. Then, I got this. It's called the Sisuri Blackhead uh, remover cream, and I thought it was going to be one of those, like, you know, you let it dry on, and then it becomes the, the peel, well, it's not, it's just really, like, a face wash, but it, it, it cleans your pores, but not as good as I think it would, maybe I have to give it a better chance, or really get the instructions, but it looks like this, it melts and washes everything away. And then I'm trying something new for moisturizer because I feel like I can't breathe. So what, a lot of the moisturizers make me feel like I have a mask on and I can't really breathe. So I'm trying this gel moisturizer. And it's by, it's another crazy product. The same, com same company, I, right? And it's called Mustache. And it's pretty much a gel cream. And you guys can see how it looks um, in my foundation video. And then I got some freaking ass good accessories. And I got this. Freaking ew, yo. How fucking fierce is this shit? But I felt like it was too much. <laughs> like I felt like the cops were going to come and be like, excuse me, miss. You have a weapon, you must, like, remove of it. But it really doesn't hurt. The edges are really nice, and I freaking love it. Alright. And then, I got my stunner shades. Stunner, stunner, stunner shades. This is, like, the new shit. And you may have seen these in a brief cameo in the new Sex in the City uh, 2 movie. Uh, I guess one of the announcers was wearing it, and he had a hoodie on. And I really liked how he was rocking it. He was rocking the chain back. He was rocking with the chain back and a hoodie on top, and I thought that shit was ill. So I'm going to do a look like that later. All right. And then, also, I got these. These shades. Rocking. I love it. I'm just so happy that I did my purchases. And I think that's about it. Oh my god, how can I forget? Okay, so I know, I know you guys, well, I don't know, but most of you hopefully are watching the World Cup, so I have to say that none of my countries are actually in the World Cup, so I couldn't really, you know, root for it. So I'm just going to go for my boyfriend's team. So, go Reds! Ah, Korea! 
So it says, with the Reds, we dream again. And what I love about it is that it has freaking flame on the side of the shirt. And I didn't bring my ears. I don't know where my um, dragon, I mean, my devil ears are, but I love this shirt. And um, they lost today. But uh, wish you the best of luck. And you know you guys will advance. Yeah, but okay, so that was everything. That was my haul for New York City, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, you can leave them as a comment, and I will leave you my links for my other pages and stuff. Hope you enjoy.